Hello, my name is Sarah Todd and I'm one of the specialist physios working within the asthma team at the Royal Brockton Hospital. I'm just going to tell you a bit more about our Brockton Breathing Pattern Assessment Tool. Um, so, breathing pattern disorder is a problem, uh, prevalent cause of breathlessness in patients with asthma. However, there's not really any objective way of assessing this um, consistently. The Brompton Breathing Pattern Assessment Tool is a very quick, simple way of assessing someone's breathing pattern and helps you to objectively characterise a person's breathing pattern, looking at respiratory rate, rhythm, uh, flow. So, I'm just going to uh, show you how I would assess this patient that's come to see me. Um, so first off I'd look at whether they've got an abdominal or upper chest movement. Uh, so having a look at this patient you can see that actually they have got a bit of an apical breathing pattern going on. There is some use of the abdomen so I would say they've got a combination. The next thing I would look at is inspiratory flow, so seeing whether that was silent, audible or loud. So I'd actually say that is audible for inspiratory flow. And I'd do the same with expiratory flow as well. So looking to see whether I could, whether it's silent, audible or loud. And again, I'd score that as audible. The next thing I'm going to look at is their channel of inspiration and expiration. So are they predominantly breathing through their nose, their mouth or a combination of both? Predominantly that's mouth, there's a bit of nose going on for inspiration, so I would score that as a combination. The next thing I'm looking for are signs of air hunger, so that could include yawning, sighing, deep breathing, so just having a little look for any signs of that. So slightly deeper breath then. And again then, so I'm thinking about looking at that for a minute. So just to give you an idea, I'll look for a little bit longer. So we can, we've already seen two signs, so I'm going to say twice or more per minute. And then the next thing I would look at is respiratory rate. So ideally I'd look at a clock whilst I'm doing this, um, but you can see that we're looking at the criteria, there's definitely, it's definitely faster than 12 or more breaths per minute. So for the purposes of this, let's say that that's between 13 to 25. And the final thing to look at is rhythm. So whether the breathing pattern is rhythmical or erratic. So we've already said that we've seen some slightly bigger than normal breaths, so we're already thinking that things might be a bit more erratic. Yeah, you can definitely see there's some changes in size of tidal volume, so I would score that as erratic. So you can see on there that you would then total this up, so that's 5 on that side, 4 on that side, so that gives you a total score at 9 out of 14. So looking at our work, that would indicate that this person did have some elements of breathing pattern disorder. Thank you very much for listening and for your interest in our research that's been published recently in Respirology. Obviously this tool now needs to be validated and looked at in terms of its response to uh, treatment intervention by physiotherapy.